Now, one of the country's most powerful unions is threatening to shut down building sites in Victoria if construction workers don't get a pay rise. The CFMEU has launched its campaign for wage increases, arguing developers are making a bigger cut. Joining me live is the union's Victoria State Secretary, John Setka. John, great to see you. Welcome back to the program. First of all, I just want to pick up on what Jane Hume said about corruption around the Andrews government. Do you agree with that? Look, I, I, I very... It's, it's politics at its best. I mean, they all <laughs> uh, hang on one another. I mean, that's part of their job. Uh, that's what they do. I mean, I think calling a government corrupt is a little bit... Probably going, going a bit too far, but, I mean, <laughs> uh, anyway, who knows? That might end up in court somewhere. <laughs> We don't yeah, know. it might. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got you weighed in that anyway. <laughs> so let's uh, talk about what I got you on here to talk about, and that is um, the construction sector in, in Victoria. So what is actually being threatened here when it comes to pay? What are you saying this morning? Well, Laura, we're not actually saying we are actually going to go on strike. We, we've done a, a, a poll. We've done a survey of our members. It was done by a professional uh, company that does uh, surveys. And it was totally independent of, of us. Like so, so we we don't get to see who answers in which way. It's totally confidential. And some of the results of that were, were actually surprising to us. Like, I mean, when you 87% of your members uh in that survey say that they are prepared to take industrial action for, for, for decent pay rises, I mean that's that's really making a statement. So I mean, we we are at the moment are not threatening or saying we are gonna go on strike. We Hope we don't go, have to go on strike. I mean, our industry's uh, been through a lot, you know, the COVID era and, mm. and, and, and companies going broke. So we understand it is a little bit, uh, you know, it, it's a bit sensitive. But, I mean, look, if, if it does come to that, uh, I mean, our polling and our survey results show that our members are prepared to take industrial action for, for a decent pay rise. I what, mean, they, What do they want? What, what are they not happy with at the moment? Well, it's not that they're not happy. I mean, that, 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 our EBA is up. It is due to be renewed, uh, and it comes up every three or four years. And, and it's uh, we're, we're about to start negotiating our new EBA, so it's all about percentages. I mean, what pay rises they're going to get, what other bells and whistles, you know, whether it's increased to super, whether it's an increase to redundancy. Uh, there's a whole heap of things here. And I mean, I mean, you know, our members have been told, listen, you know, uh, the economy's a bit fickle, inflation's running high, everyone's got to, you know, s sort of make a few sacrifices. But then every time they switch on the news, I mean, you can't get the smile off Joyce's, Alan Joyce's from Qantas's face. I mean, I don't blame him. If I was getting that much money, I'd, I'd probably never get the smile off my face either. So, I mean, it's a little bit almost like there's one rule for some people and there's some rule rule for other people. And, and it's it's a bit hypocritical, to be quite honest, you know, uh, to, to watch that. And the timing of it probably couldn't be worse, to be quite honest. Yeah, well, Alan Joyce has got nothing to do with the construction sector, though. What about Tim Gurner? That's probably more in your wheelhouse, to be honest. Um, you remember he, the comments he made last week about... I, you know, I had heard. I hadn't watched what, his interview, but I'd heard some of his comments. What did you think about that? Oh, well, look, I, I was a bit taken aback, to be quite honest. I mean, uh, he, he's a developer. He develops a fair bit in Victoria. I mean, uh, jobs are all union jobs. I mean, I don't know whether he was taken out of context. I haven't watched the interview. I mean, no. but it, 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 I mean, my understanding is he's, he's apologised for it. Um, mm. Now, I don't know. I mean, it, it, if he really means... You know what, what he said. I think it, it's a bit alarming. I mean, I, I think we've gone a long way in the construction industry. You know, the them against us mentality is is really almost non-existent. And to oh, yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't seen the interview, and and I'd like to think that he was taken out of context or what he's. Sometimes people say things that don't come out the right <laughs> he, way. So, I don't think so. he was. I, I don't think he was. To, to be fair to him, uh, I don't think he was t t taken out of context. But I think privately. Um, some bosses might agree with him that in your sector in particular, uh, there's a lot of highly paid uh, tradies and developers like Tim Gurnett don't feel like they're getting the most out of them. And on a, on a bigger level, uh, John Setka, productivity in this country is in the toilet. That's the one thing that needs to be improved. So how, how do you view that? Well, well, to be quite honest, Laura, at our last EBA meeting, I mean, even the builders there conceded that there wasn't much more in productivity that we could give. We've, we've, there's a, there's quite a few flexibilities in, in our enterprise agreement, and, and even the builders acknowledged that there is not much more flexibility 
uh, and productivity that they could gain. I mean, our industry, we put up buildings quicker than most people do anywhere in the world. I mean, yeah, right. that, you'll never read about that. You won't see that in the Liberal papers. I mean, we are actually one of the most efficient builders. We put buildings up uh, ahead of schedule, and most buildings in Victoria that are built are built ahead of schedule and on time and, and under budget. So I don't know where this, this, this myth that uh, the productivity is down in the toilet. Maybe in other industries it is. In the construction industry, our productivity, I mean, we're putting up buildings quicker than we ever have. The level crossing removal project, yeah. most of them were, were done under budget and, and way ahead of time. So okay. I, well, I don't just, know where this all comes from. Just more generally, just more generally, and I'll, I'll finish on this. Um, you know, right across the country, we're not building enough homes to keep up with demand. From your perspective, what can government do? Is the red tape slowing you down? Uh, are workers slowing down? Have you not got enough workers? What's the story? Look, there's, there is a bit of a shortage of skilled trades. I mean, there is a bit of a short, but we, we can we can sort of catch up to that. Like we, we've got a, our, our trade's going to be licensed very soon, so it, it'll produce much much better and, and a lot more kids are going to take up apprenticeships. So we'll have a we'll have a massive influx of trades in the next few years. So that's not going to be a problem. I just think uh, governments have been lagging for a number of years and we've got a housing crisis now. Mm -hmm. and, and I think people are now realising that we are in a housing crisis. Let's start building these houses. And, and look, I mean, 800,000 houses, that's going to be fantastic. But by the time we get there, we'll probably still be a housing shortage. Look, it's good news that there is going to be a lot of work. There's going to be a lot of work to keep everyone going and, and you need to build more houses to keep the whole economy going. So... Yeah. Look, I think it's one of them things that was just left uh, 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 left for a long time. People that weren't in that headspace, it's now become a crisis point and, and, and governments are now realising it. Yeah. And thankfully, they're starting to do something about it, which I think is it, it, it's going to create more work, more jobs. It's a bit late, but you know what? Better late than never. Well, let's come back to the very beginning. So let's just be clear for our viewers. You're not threatening strike action at the moment. Your EB is up for negotiation. Basically, you did a survey of your members and most of them uh, would be happy to go on strike to get what they want. Look, uh, Laura, our, our history has been everything we have in the construction industry, we've had to fight for. It wasn't just given to us. We've had to fight for it. We're in a dangerous industry. Um, you know, we, 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 we work up to 10 hours, 12 hours a day. That's why we get good money, because they do put in the hours. It's long hours. It's dangerous, dirty work. And you know what? We deserve everything we get. And, uh, mm. and we want to get a decent pay rise to keep up, you know, with the cost of inflation. Everything's going up. Your groceries are going up. Your electric all bills are going up. So, you know, we want our wages to go up to keep up, you know, and, 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 we, and we need to do that. And, and and we're putting a lot of clauses in, like a, a, a parental leave, you know. So we got a lot of females. We're attracting a lot more females into our industry, and some of them want to have kids at one stage. So we're, our claim is 18 hours, 18 weeks, sorry, full pay uh, parental leave, you know. So 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 a young woman entering the construction industry doesn't have to worry about, well, I'm not going to, oh, I don't want to start a family now because I can't afford it. She's going to be able to start that family. So yeah. we're, we're sort of moving with the times. We're modernising everything. And, and the bottom line is our members just want a decent uh, a pay rise and uh, we don't want to wreck the industry. It's our industry. I mean, why do you want to wreck something that gives you a living? But yeah. we want a fair pay rise and, and, and you know, our members work hard for it and, and we deserve it. All right. Sounds reasonable. Let me know if that changes. We'll speak to you soon, John Secker. Okay. Thank you, Laura.